This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is AP Physics Homework 9.4, questions 5 and 6. A parallel plate capacitor has a plate area of 153 centimeters squared. So my area is 153 centimeters squared. Be careful, that's not 1.53 meters squared because this is a square centimeter. So I have to do this uh, conversion twice. So my area is actually going to be four decimal points over. So it's 0, 0.153 meters squared, because I'm dividing by 100 and dividing by another 100, bump, bump, and that'll give me my 0 0.0153. Um, and a, a plate separation of 0 0.0450 millimeters, so that's D, is 0 0.0450 millimeters. If I want to convert that into meters, I would have to move this decimal three places, or I could write that as 0 0.0450 times 10 to the minus 3, because times 10 to the minus 3 means millimeters. Um, determine the capacitance, so C equals question mark. Uh, the permittivity of a vacuum is 8.85419, that's epsilon naught equals 8.85419 times 10 to the minus 12th, coulomb squared newtons meters squared. So these are standard units. This would now be in standard units. This would be now in standard units. Make sure you convert those correctly. So my capacitance is going to be epsilon naught A over D. And you know all of these so you can get yourself your capacitance. Now, determine the potential difference. Well, I'm looking for V equals question mark. When the charge on the capacitor, Q, equals 450 PC, that's pico, pico coulombs. Now, pico, -coul pico coulombs means uh, times 10 to the minus, let's see, 450 times 10 to the minus, well, nano is 9, this is 12, 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. So now I've got a Q, and I'm looking for a V. I know that C equals Q over V, so V is going to equal Q over C. So if I take my Q and divide it by my C, I will get my potential difference between those two plates.